Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, countryside concierge at its finest, and a wonderfully sunny autumnal welcome to the glorious River Thames. Open water swimming has really taken off over the last few years. Sport England said that apparently last year over four million people took the plunge in rivers and lakes and, and whatever locally to them. And as a result, some fabulous events have sprung up all over the country. Henley hosts four of these fabulous events throughout, um, uh, throughout the summer culminating in what the locals affectionately call the bridge to bridge swim because the the competitors start from Henley Bridge and finish at Marlow Bridge swimming a total of 14 kilometers it's quite some extraordinary effort but it's fantastic Open water swimming events have taken place in Henley since about the 1890s, um, but two friends, one of whom is here with me today, uh, in 2004, uh, decided that it would be rather fun to swim the length of the regatta course the weekend before Henley Royal Regatta actually started. So Tom Keane and his uh, partner Jeremy uh, uh, came out year after year, word spread amongst their friends, and by 2008, uh, the first of the official event events uh, events happened. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about these fantastic events that take place and the opportunities for you to come open water swimming on the Thames. Hi Tom. Hello Good there. Hi Sam. Yeah, so tell me a bit more about how it all started. Yeah so um, both Jeremy and myself rode, not in Henley although we both briefly did, uh, we, we mainly rose down at Marlow, both decided to stop and uh, Jeremy actually wanted to go and take up triathlon. Of course, triathlon involves the slightly uncomfortable task of getting in uh, open water. Now, um, uh, he knew I used to be a swimmer in my youth, not so long ago. <laughs> anyway, we, we thought it would be a great idea to do what we'd done many, many times on top of the water, in the water. And we knew that the, uh, the best time of day to avoid all those rowers was about four in the morning just as the yeah. sun is rising Perfect. so quite happily because we're both morning people we got up swam the course and at that time so that's back in 2004 it all felt a little bit um, a little bit daring and we were fully <laughs> expecting to get arrested down by the boat tents but anyway Fantastic. we jumped in uh, and swam it and it was a great experience and as you said word spread year on year it just got more and more popular um, and uh, yeah, as you suggested, it, it got a bit formal. So we, we decided to turn it into a little bit of a business. Uh, and, and that's how the business started. And, and year, on year, year on year, we then decided to add other events. Um, uh, my personal favorite being the classic, which is the early morning one, but close second is, is the, what we used to call the Bridge to Bridge, now called the Thames Marathon. Ah, oh, that was the yeah. name I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so that we, we've renamed it. Yeah. Uh, but it is, as you say, it's, it's a swim from Henley Bridge to Marlow Bridge. Uh, and we love that one because we've actually done that every year as well. Wow. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, you know, we, we feel that's just as, uh, as important uh, to us. Um, uh, so yes, um, I mean, looking around you today, I've got to say, you know, we've had a lot of rain in the UK at the moment, and <laughs> yeah. you've got to use your imagination. I mean, the river's looking pretty angry at the moment, but it's not like that uh, no. in the summertime. So no. um, as people plan their um, itinerary, um, you know, what we think would be very nice to offer is some kind of, uh, maybe an entry into one of our swimming events. Absolutely. Uh, which would uh, make people feel very special, a VIP type pass. Um, or if you want some kind of one-to-one -one uh, swim with myself um, I'm very happy to jump in and take to the hallowed waters of, of the Thames of, Old Father Thames of the river of the yeah, river Thames indeed. I know it's what the wonderful thing about the events I think is uh, personally I haven't done one yet no, give it time we are working give on it time place. I know you're working on me um, but lots of friends have so it's a really local event mm. and we all certainly come down here and support mm. all of the events which are brilliant but you get competitors from everywhere don't you yeah so we've had uh, um, swimmers from all over the world South Africa uh, New Zealand's our furthest wow. I mean that's that's incredible I mean people do I mean we, we ask them you know did you come did, did you enter uh, because you were here anyway or did you come specifically for it fully fully expecting them to say oh yeah we just slotted it in as we were here yeah. no no people come from all over the world specifically to do the event it. it's incredible and we've had many many uh, american people do it as well and canadians so it's really growing um as as one of those kind of must do events and you know i mean henley really is um home of rowing and 
people may or may not know this, but you know, all these trailblazing events that they haven't been going for that long. No, um, no. In, certainly in their modern format, uh, really are. It, it was kind of born in Henley back in 2004, and as you said earlier, oh my gosh, if people were doing this over a hundred years yeah. before, yeah. and and we didn't know it at the time, but. Jeremy and myself have really captured this uh, this heritage, this provenance of, of um, you know taking to the water, and, and we just love this the, the, the genuine story behind it all. Yeah. We absolutely love it, and, and yeah. it feels historic and iconic, and yeah, we love it. Yeah, it's uh, it is great. I, I mean, in Henley, I think we we all are very passionate mm. about the river, aren't we? And mm. and I know certainly the other side of the bridge, there's a, there's a lovely area where individuals mm. can go. So I think the opportunity for people visiting, they so just fancy giving it a bit of a go. Yeah, there are some lovely yeah. quiet areas, aren't yeah, there? Yeah. Away from the rowing. And, yeah, and yeah. So. so so this is an extremely busy part of um, yeah. the Thames. Now, when we do our events, we close the river. You know. We, we have you know private use of it is fantastic but just that way and that way you you it's nothing like no. as busy so you can swim very safely so safety is always our concern but as you mm. say i mean henley is is famous for its river it's it's world famous for its regatta and we really do piggyback on the back of that reputation but as i said we, we, we've created our own provenance now mm. um go, going back to the 1800s so uh, we we feel um justified in saying that we are kind of the center of the universe for for, for open water Fantastic. swimming and, and you've got the museum and, and i mean you know yeah. the thames is one of the most iconic rivers in the world and you can now swim in it quite happily so yeah. yeah yeah it's great it's great for the environment as well knowing that you can swim in there you know safely. quite safely yeah yeah absolutely and one of the events i know there's quite a lot of comment mm. um the uh, the club to pub mm. event that ends it ends at the another iconic um institution on the river the yeah. angel angel on the bridge and and loving the fact don't you give the um competitors a uh, um a, a bottle opener so yeah so uh, the... i mean medals people love medals and somebody i do you know i don't know who it was i think it might have been jeremy actually um he said why don't we turn our our lovely chunky finishers medal into um, a bottle opener because we're uh, again it's all about you know working with local people I mean we love it Breaks Beer um, is a Henley brewery they sponsor that particular event they mm. brew their own specific beer for that event Fantastic. called Two Bells and and swimmers get out the water and they haven't even dried off when they <laughs> they thrust this bottle of beer in their hand and, and lo and behold their finishers medal it, it acts as a bottle opener and they go and have a burger and it's done on a Saturday night so it's just not like a normal it's much more relaxed it's mm. a sort of uh, it, it's, it's a social swim rather than a sort of semi-serious one like a lot of people take our other events yeah yeah so as you can see there are huge opportunities for you to get into the water either just you with uh with tom as your trusty guide uh or to enter um enter one of the events the River Thames is just truly magnificent at any time of the year, um, as you know, because we share it with you um, throughout, throughout the year. So just let us know if you would like to take part and we will be more than happy to introduce you to, uh, to Tom and Jeremy. We look forward to seeing you next week.